and welcome. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Today I'll be doing a little hyperlapse with my uh, Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm all set up. My drone is ready to go. Uh, and I'm firing up my, uh, my, uh, my iPad. And um, today I'll be using the Litchi app to do this hyperlapse. The Litchi app is uh, an app pretty much like the DJI Go app. If you don't know what Litchi is, if you want to find out it, please check my last video just before this one uh, where I explain everything uh, about the Litchi app and why I use it, especially because of the uh, waypoint missions that it can do a lot better than the DJI Go app, uh, the GA. Anyway, um, in that video I explain all the, the nice features of the DJI, uh, of the Litchi app. And in this video I'm going to just use uh, the waypoint mission, which is basically a very small mission. It's going to take about, it's go around at 500 meters and it's going to be up at 35 meters all the way down to 10 straight towards the statue I see here. It's called Marques Pombal here in Lisbon. And hopefully it'll turn out, it'll be a, you know, turn out to be a very good or decent uh, hyperlapse. Okay, I'm going to take off with the drone now. You guys can uh, get to know the app while I use it. Okay, the dog is going crazy. Let's have it facing what we want to see. I'm going to enhance here so I can actually take a look. This seems I don't know if it's too underexposed or not, so... My histogram says it's a little... Okay, this seems good. Seems better. Okay, mission is loaded. I'm just gonna get it closer to the first waypoint. have it start okay so let's go and we press play here and it says would you like to start the mission yes I would boom uploading mission off it goes as you can see it's rising up to 35 meters there it is let's go ahead to the first waypoint it's gonna stop and turn around and face as you can see here that's the statue I'm talking about yeah so you saw that earlier I think anyway this is my hyperlapse basically this is gonna take in theory according to what I uh, saw when I was setting up this mission it's gonna take about 20 minutes so I'm not gonna bore you with the, the entire 20 minutes of the hyperlapse let's just see if it's going smoothly I think it is it's going very very slowly but it is sadly it's a little too much to the right, the, the position of the gimbal, of the drone itself actually is facing a little too much to the left, to the right, I mean, yeah, to the left actually. But I, I suppose I can uh, make it right when we uh, readjust that when we get, um, when in post-production. Anyway, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with, with this anymore. I'm gonna cut straight to the computer where you can, you know, see what happens in the post-processing of this hyperlapse. So stick around. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. I've just imported all the photos from my hyperlapse. Sadly, there are a few problems I'm noticing here. First of all is the composition as I anticipated, obviously because of the position of the drone. Uh, I should have uh, set my, um, my degrees, my, my, my heading differently and when I planned the mission, but anyway, that's water on the bridge. What is bothering me is it seems that I didn't focus, so it seems everything is just out of focus, which is one big mess. Uh, but I think I'll just go on with it and do the hyperlapse. Oh my God, look at the last shot. Do the hyperlapse nonetheless, because I want to see how it turns out. Uh, I've never, I've done like one or two, so I'm just going to test it out. I guess I'm not going to export this. I was going to process a little bit, try to make it a little bit better. Well, I, I still can. Let me just give it a shot. Contrast, bring it up and let's go to the curves. Okay, looking a bit, bit better there. It looks better there. And highlights, let's bring it down. Uh, shadows, not so much. We already see enough of the frame. Blacks, we are good as it was. Okay, so uh, let's sharpen it. Maybe we'll maybe be able to save something. Eh, it's sharpening, so I think it's savable. Let's do, okay, 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 okay. Okay, this looks good. Let's maybe touch a little bit of the, um, no, not this. Let's uh, temperature, color template mix, make it uh, warmer, definitely warmer. Okay, 
this seems decent. We'll recompose um, once everything is exported. So let me just sync. Boom, synchronize. And it's synchronized. So I'm going to export the entire of 80, 166 photos of this hyperlapse. Let's choose a folder here. Uh, where is it where we want to put this? We want to put it in our hyperlapse, day five. Let's make a new folder here called hyper, hyper, hyperlapse JPEGs. JPEGs, okay. Boom, boom. Okay. It's exporting, so I'll cut to uh, Premiere so you guys don't have to wait. Okay guys, so here we are in Premiere. I'm going to um, import our hyperlapse. So image sequence, should import just a sequence. There it is, boom. I made a 2K timeline here for our hyperlapse. We'll keep existing settings and we'll readjust. This is where I'm hoping we can actually save the hyperlapse. Let's see what I can do here. So we are, yeah, okay. This is more like it. You see what I'm talking about? Okay, and boom, now it's centered as I wanted it. Okay, let me see how much I can go back. I can actually go some way, some way back. Okay, because I don't want to, you know. So, boom, let's see. We might need to adjust these, so I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to readjust here so we can have a better scale. And okay, here goes nothing. About six seconds, I think, of um, hyperlapse. Let's see what happens. And yeah, very shaky. Well, obviously I need to render this. So, okay, so something happens here, which is I readjust here. I readjusted my, stupidly enough, I readjusted my uh, gimbal pitch, which was probably a mistake. And now I'm going to try to compensate for that. So it stops roughly around here. So we'll have it go up a little bit and boom. Okay, let me see how that affects the things. Okay, okay. Let's apply the warp stabilizer on this bad boy. Let me see if I can save this here by tilting. So rotation, let's add one waypoint, one keyframe here. Right about round, I'd say it starts really going bad where? Okay, so maybe around here, we'll do another keyframe on rotation. And boom, we'll want it around. We'll want, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we'll want this to happen. Okay, so, okay. All of this has been taken care of, basically. Let me just set another rotation keyframe here. Maybe add a boom and minus one degree. Let's, let's set it exactly like that. Okay, looks good. Let's apply the warp stabilizer on this bad boy. Or let's nest the sequence first. Otherwise it won't work. Nested sequence. We need to nest it because uh, if you apply uh, the warp, anything whatsoever uh, to the um, uh, to the clip. It's it's not it's not actual clip. It's a bunch of JPEGs. So we have to nest it so it becomes well basically a clip. So warp stabilizer. There it is. Let's apply to our nested sequence. Boom. It's going to uh, process it. Where is it? Okay. 8%, 10%, it's gonna be fairly quick. Okay, this is turning a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, I was really discouraged at the beginning, but we made it happen, we made it work. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I'll see if I can do some retouching here in, in color grading, but uh, you know, just to try and make it even better. I'm always obsessed with, with grading and doing the best that I can in post-processing. Okay, so it's almost done at uh, 72%. And I'm very curious. I'm probably gonna have to render the sequence before we can actually uh, visualize it. Um, I can try to make this bigger for you guys so you don't uh, find it very small. Okay, so we can all take a good look. Okay, is it stabilized? I think it is. Let's just, let's do an out here. Yeah, let's do an out. Boom, let's render sequence in and out. Should be fairly quick. And once this done, it's going to play back and we're going to see the first draft, so to speak, of this hyperlapse. Okay, there it is. Oh my God. It looks very nice. It looks very, very nice. Let me play that again. 
It looks awesome. Look at that. Look at what you salvaged from that shot. If you see the original photos, you won't believe that this is the final result. Look at that. One more time. Beautiful. It looks very good. Warp stabilizer for the win and recomposition and all those keyframes to set the rotation right and the position and the scaling right. I'm really happy with this. It seems that it's out of focus right at the beginning, but then it gets into focus. Look at that. Then it gets into focus. It's just the first shot. So it was all false alarm. There it is. Very nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please, uh, you know, leave a like uh, down below. And if you made it this far, please comment below and say you made it this far. If you have any questions, I know I'm a little bit fast when I do this stuff, but uh, if you have any questions, leave it down below. Uh, and uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. If you do subscribe, remember to tap the little bell thingy so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.